How's it going? Leave that aside. Um, so I've had three people call me today to see if I'm okay. So I, I guess I'll do an update. Um, everything's fine. Just trying to clear my head a little bit. I got a couple of things going on with the YouTube channel and social media. Um, I, 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 I don't know. The, there's, I love doing YouTube and, it, and it's been a hobby for me. But there are times when I gotta pull the reins back because my priorities have to be lined up. You know, I don't, when I feel like I get to the point where my life revolves around YouTube, I need to switch it to where my YouTube revolves, well, I guess that's not the correct thing, but YouTube is a supplement to my life, not my life, I guess that's a better way of saying it. <clears throat> Um, vlog wise, I have something in the GoPro about this one customer. I don't know if I'll put it up or not. I haven't looked at it. haven't edited, edit any, edited anything. Um, live feeds. I haven't been inspired. Um, those of you in our circle know that live feeds can be kind of toxic. And when you got people violently beating each other up and stabbing each other I think that's that's just shows you how toxic live feeds can be I've been really you know it, it, it's hard to do a live feed without talking about what's going on with the election and and the civil unrest and everything else and it seems like I've really had to clean out my Facebook feed and my in my YouTube feed, I, I'm, I'm subscribed to too many channels. I can't focus, right? So the narcissist in me sits there and looks at my numbers. My numbers kind of suck. Um, I'm lucky to break 200 on my recorded videos and I'm lucky to break 300 on my live feeds. I've noticed that if I put out a negative title or a negative clickbaity title, like like my uh, uh, my day cab one, my day cab should you know should you know getting a day cab job is what I put in the title. And I don't know if more people clicked on that because I thought I was quitting being an owner operator or what, but that that had some decent numbers. So it's just proof that that negativity breeds the best channels it seems like um, but you know that that's just that's just how the world is right now so I got a lot of things on my mind you know business wise things are great I've been running these short hauls I, I don't see hardly any windshield time because I've been running these short high paying stuff I'm, I'm really helping the 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 average rate per mile on the on the on the for the carrier you know for like trucking like trucking is is doing great uh, my new safety position is has been pretty cool and then that's something else you know I, I can't can't justify doing a an hour and a half long live feed because I'm bored when there are things that I need to be doing in the log department or or checking up on incidences or you know logbook stuff you know I, I can't really I can't be that guy, you know. There were times in my, you know, since I've been at like trucking that I was more focused on YouTube than what I needed to do for the business. The truck's doing great, knock on wood, um, but it's going in the shop. I was hopefully going to wait till next week, but um, I need to put it in the shop this weekend, so. Rates are really good in the spot market. I just watched the Freight Waves video that that did the predictions, and it, and it's going to be like this till at least January. Um, they say that October and November are going to be record months um, for uh, for freight, which you know the graphs prove that you know. Um, so if if you are in the spot market and you're not running right now, that's 
think that's a mistake because you know and i've made that mistake in 2018 and everybody's like out there making a thousand bucks a day i was i was staying at home a lot and that almost put me under so i can't i'm not doing that this time now i've been running these short hauls you know I'm, i haven't been i haven't been like making these eight nine thousand dollar weeks but at the same time i've i've found that perfect balance of being at home because there's a lot of things going on at home that I'm not mentioning to you guys um, so it, it's been a perfect balance I've been enjoying these rates and I've really mastered my area I think the longest day I've had so far is like 400 miles total um, you know there's a lot of digital noise right now there's a lot of static you know everybody's upset you know the COVID restrictions and the, and the, the civil unrest and the, and and the presidential election and the, the debate I, I I haven't been able to watch more than seven minutes of the debate you know I sit there at a shipper receiver and I try to put it on and, and I, I can't do it I can't go more than five to seven minutes at a time because I think it would just kind of put me in this deeper funk than that I've already been in right last weekend uh, we went off the grid went to a friend of my, the resort I did a video for Cedar Hollow Resort went there um, and we just had a good time we you know it's, it's funny we uh, got to hang out with a friend of a friend on his pontoon boat. Now I want to get a boat, but <laughs> I can't justify that cost either. Um, but he was a he was a owned the trucking company as well. It, it's kind of it's kind of interesting coming across successful people. But um, I know I'm just rambling, but I, I figured I'd do an update and. Um, this would be better than an awkward live feed where no one's participating, no one's asking me questions. I'll just tell you what I'm going through and, and that's it. Um, I'll probably be on Pale Riders live feed tomorrow night. Today's Thursday. I might not upload this till Friday, till tomorrow morning. So this Friday, October 2nd, Pale Rider will be live and he'll have a guest on there and I'll be I'll be on there as well other than that everything's going okay knock on wood um, I haven't been the most dedicated keto guy uh, had a few cheats this weekend and uh, I feel like crap I've gained back about 10 pounds but we're losing it fast again so um, it just kind of I think I don't know if the fog has contributed that or that's contributed to the fog in my head but and I appreciate the people that called me to check up on me to see if I was okay yes I did change the name um, I figured it'd just be a change of pace now it's Snorlord the metalhead Viking caveman trucker I kind of look like the caveman I've been listening to nothing but death metal and, and Viking music. Not not Viking death metal, but just Viking music. You know, stuff like Danheim and Wardruna and Heilung and a bunch of other stuff I can't pronounce. And I find myself in my two and three and four hour runs just listening to that. I'm not on the phone a lot, um, not listening to YouTube while at the docks I'm not I'm, I'm listening to, to Viking music so I figured hey why not and I'm in and out of the caves all the time that's that's kind of been my MO here lately um, but we're back on track with the keto thing and and uh, you know if, if you go off the keto thing for a minute don't beat yourself up um, I did do a cooking video and it didn't even that's numbers kind of sucked you know and while I do enjoy doing videos, and I do it for the enjoyment, it kind of sucks when I think that I, I, I've done something good, 
and and no one responds to it or the algorithms don't work for it and um, it's kind of frustrating you know when, when I watch somebody else do a video about something the same th thing that I did but yet they get a thousand more views it, it kind of makes you like well maybe it's me maybe people just don't like me um, maybe I'm not mean enough or or maybe I'm not talking to the right people I don't know but um, other than that I've just been kind of trying to quiet my mind down um, trying to focus um, I came across some good videos let me um, let me recommend one there's a There's a guy by the name of Andrew Kirby. Andrew Kirby. And he did a video. Former monk reveals the secret to finding your purpose. It is an excellent, excellent, excellent video. And it, it touches on a lot of things that I've touched on. So tells me that I'm on the right track with some of these mental clarity things. Um, and it's something that the whole world could use. You know, I haven't, he talks about a book by a guy in the name of Jay Shetty, S-H-E-T-T-Y. I'm going to have to check that out. For Christmas, I want this year is is a subscription, a year a year paid of Audible.com. I would love that. Um, because I think that if I put down the YouTube and I put down the Facebook and listen to more audio books, I don't know, that might be better for me than the crap that I'm taking in now. See, here's the thing. Just like food, just like diet, what you take in affects you. So, if you're dwelling on the negative, or if, or if you just can't get away from the negative, don't pick this up. Because it'll, it'll just mess with your head. You really will. So, but, uh, I appreciate... The people that do watch my channel, the hundred of you that are pretty dedicated on, on watching my videos, and I appreciate all of you, every single one of you. The hundred out of what, 3,200 subscribers? How many subscribers do I have? I don't even know. It's, it shows you how much I pay attention. Maybe that's part of the problem. I have, oh, I have 3680. 3680 so that's good and I get about what an average of 100 views it's not even, it's not even 1% I don't think I don't know that's math who, who cares right oh well what can you do I haven't been inspired to do vlogs because I mean how much can I show on doing a, a trip from Kansas City to Springfield and back you know um, I put some music to some videos, but those don't do well because it, it, it doesn't serve the algorithms because, you know, it's, it's recorded music by somebody else. So I don't get dinged for those, but I don't get help for those either. Um, and I can only use my own band so many times before it gets old, right? But anyways, just a, a touching base kind of thing. You know, put in the comments what you want to see more of. And uh, I'm probably going to shy away from the live feeds for a while. Just because I have really nothing to say. Even though I just rambled for the last 15 minutes. I really just... Sometimes I do a live feed and I, I feel like a broken record. I say the same things, the same stories, the same... The same, hey, you need to look at this, you need to do that, you know, it's the same, you know, it's all about the net, it's the same, 
you know, it's all about your costs, the same, you know, this is how you do this, you know, it's all the same. Um, it's, it's like a broken record. Live feeds have become broken records for me here in, here in the last little bit. And I find myself not watching as many trucking YouTubers because we all say the same thing on live feeds over and over. Um, I missed Pale Riders live feed last weekend because I was off the grid. And I'll tell you what, guys, being off the grid can be, can be very cleansing. And getting away from the phone can be very cleansing. And I think that's what brought me to this place that I'm at now mentally. But I appreciate everybody checking in on me. Um, I really do. It shows that I have a really good group of people that that care. And, and that, that makes it worthwhile right there. I'm not leaving YouTube. I'm not quitting YouTube. But definitely want to re-strategize. Anyways. Peace.